I specifically remember thinking, you know, if I if I hang on or if I work on a business plan for another three months or if I try and find investors that it's going to take four to six months, you know, if I wait all that time to quit my day job and, and start being an entrepreneur, then it's possible that at that day, someone's already going to be six months ahead of me. Um, and, and that sort of competition that drive that somebody else could have rented a space and opened up a market or done whatever job that would be comparable to what I was doing, um, they would already have a head start had I not quit and, and pursued what I really wanted to pursue. I could be getting you know, an influx of cash where I could get large distributors and, and totally change my model and become a grocery store instead of supporting small food businesses. But I know, where, I know why people come through my door every day. Um, and I don't ever question the fact that the more local stuff that I get, the more stuff that was key to my, my narrative at the beginning, my mission statement, then the better my business is gonna be. Because that is what made me successful in the first place and seeing that through and growing that will continue to make me successful. You know, you look back at your past successes and, and what makes you and what has allowed you to get to the point where at, you're at now and just repeat that because there's no reason to take a left turn when the road you're going down is, is working for you. Day one or, or day negative 30, whenever I was just right before I was opening, um, you know, it was still, I was anxious even sending out emails to find vendors. Um, we opened with, with 10 great products, but 10 products in a quote unquote food store is, is, a, is a pretty scary, um, barren landscape. Uh, and it, it would have been resolved much easier if I had taken the initiative and, and not listened to the self-doubt um, and, and really pursued what I wanted to pursue. Um, even bigger things like getting our beer and wine license, things that are increasing our, our market share tenfold, twentyfold now, it took me eight months to do and I knew that going into it, but I still procrastinated and not so much procrastinated, but thought that it was such an overwhelming obstacle that I didn't want to tackle it at that point. So I got a hold of smaller things that were more manageable that I could take care of day to day and I focused on that instead of focusing on the big picture, which I should have done, uh, because we're, we're that much better for it now that it's done. I, I would say the biggest breakthroughs that I have whenever I'm um, feeling stuck is, is probably not having a safety net, it is knowing that I have to do what this is in order to keep my livelihood afloat. Um, I think not having something that, that I could fall back on is, is terrifying and motivating. Uh, and if that's how you work, that's a great tool. Um, if you operate more positively, then you should probably think about, you know, doing this safely. Um, but I, I opened my business with less than $500, with no investors, severely undercapitalized. Um, but that has what every time I feel like I want to quit I just remind myself I can't quit <laughs> um, and that's that's really that's great for me because that's how that's how I operate best